Hey, welcome back to another video for our photo app demo in Android. So I think we're up to about video 10 by now. And we are going to now extend the application. So we're going to have a global variable for our list of recently viewed images. So to be able to create global things, I remember I showed you in a previous tutorial of how to create a global application. So I'm going to call this thing my application. And the super class was called application. And let's click OK. So the point of this is to be able to store a variable that is used in multiple uh, views or multiple activities. So after we create my application, we have to do something in the manifest. Notice here in the uh, area called application, we have to provide a new item called name. So that is equal to my application. All right, so we've given the application a name. Let's close that. Now a unique ability of this class is to be able to hold a value that all activities can see. So the global variable that I'm interested in is a list. So we're going to have a list of URIs. And that is going to be called URI list and it's an array list. So that way we can keep track of what items have been viewed. So let's do a generate and let's do the usual getter and setter for our URI list. Also, I'm going to create a constructor. So when the application is first launched, it will create a URI list, which is an empty array list. Okay, so this will create the ability to save a global reference to this URI list. Okay, let's return back into our main activity now. So I'm looking at the activity result. If we have a successful uh, result for either the photo camera or the photo gallery, then we will have a, either a pathway or we will have a URI that we can put into, uh, our, in our, into our list. So let's go to the top of the page and we'll declare a new global list. So I'm going to insert a new value at the top. We'll call it list and the URI list is the name. So its data type is URI with the lowercase ri. So now down in the section called on activity result, we have two cases. One is where we get a file from the camera and the other is we get a URI called selected photo from the photo gallery. Both of these can be saved as URIs. Let's start with a simpler one. This one here is already in URI format. So if we've already gotten one back, let's just add it to the list. All right, so now to get a reference to this URI, li URI list is a little tricky. First of all, we're going to start off with this.getApplication. And the application type is going to be cast into my application. Once we have a reference to my application, then we can choose dot and we have get URI list. So this will get the global reference to our URI list. Then we can do URI list dot add and the item that we're going to add is called selected photo. So our URI list should be updated. Let's do the same thing with our camera. So instead of putting the URI list reference here in the if statement, I'm going to cut it out and put it before both if statements. So now inside of the uh, first case, we're going to have the URI list and choose add. And now I want to get a URI. So what I would like to do is add the file name to my URI list. But you can see that there's a problem. So the problem here is that it says you have a string that's what the file path is, and you are trying to add it to a list of items that are of class URI. So aren't they the same thing? Well, they're almost the same thing. So let's, uh, let's go see if there's some options that we could use for our URI class library. So u under, under lowercase ri dot. And what can we do there? We want to get a URI from a file. So remember, a URI is like the universal resource indicator or something along those lines. And so we should be able to get from a file what we have here. Okay, so we're getting a little closer here. We're getting a URI from a file, but it still says you've got a file and uh, you, I need a file, but you've provided me with a string. So how do I get a file reference? Well, we can do in here is create a new file and then put in parentheses the file path. So now we have ourselves a couple of conversions. We took a string, 
converted it to a file, from a file to a URI, and then we've got the right data format. Okay, so that should provide a list of items, and it's global. Now the last thing is to create a form and display the list. So if you have some other kind of application where you need a list of URIs, then you're done. However, I'm going to show you in the next video uh, one way to display the contents of that list.